In this video, we're going to find a limit by using polar coordinates. So recall that in the polar coordinate system, x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta, and r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So in this problem, all we have to do is replace r squared with x squared plus y squared, or rather replace x squared plus y squared with r squared. So we'll take the limit, and you'll notice that as x and y both approach 0, we have that r approaches 0 as well, right? just based off these formulas. So here we can replace this with r approaching 0. And then we have the sine of r squared divided by r squared, right? because x squared plus y squared is r squared. This is of the form 0 over 0, right? sine of 0 is 0. So this is an indeterminate form, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. So using L'Hopital's, so LH, this is the limit as R approaches 0. And L'Hopital says we take the derivative of each piece. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so we get the cosine of R squared times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of R squared is 2R. And in the denominator, we take the derivative again, and we get 2R. These cancel, and so we have the limit as r approaches 0, of the cosine of r squared. And cosine is a continuous function, so we can simply plug in 0, and we get cosine of 0, which is equal to 1. And so this limit is actually equal to 1. You might say, well, wait a minute, don't you have to be able to approach from any direction? Well, we did. This limit here is completely independent of theta. I hope that made sense.